Over the past 18 months, the Federal Reserve has raised the federal funds rate 11 times for a total of 525 basis points. The Fed raises rates when the economy starts overheating and there's too much inflation and then cuts rates when the economy looks weak with high unemployment. If we look back at the past 25 years, the Fed has adjusted rates over nine different economic cycles. When there were economic expansions, such as the dot-com boom in the late 90s or the mid-2000s housing market boom, the Fed raised rates. The Fed tried to cool off the economy and growing housing market bubble by increasing rates 17 times over 2005 to 2006 for a total of 500 basis points. When there have been economic downturns or catastrophic events, the Fed decreased the rates, such as in the early 2000s when both the dot-com crash and 9-11 happened. During the Great Recession, which began in December 2007, which lasted until June 2009, home values collapsed and unemployment grew to 10%. This caused the Fed to reduce rates. By early 2009, the stock market hit bottom and rates were further lower to 0%. With no way to reduce rates any further, the government began buying trillions of dollars worth of bonds to stimulate the economy and get Americans back to work. Rates were also cut during COVID by 150 basis points. Since then, rates have been raised to curb the significant inflation growth in today's economic environment, bringing us to today's rate of 5.5%.